So we're going to talk about when a person has a spirit of jealousy and envy. So by definition, envy is the dislike or hatred for what someone has. And jealousy is the fear or hatred of losing someone's love. A lot of times people get the two mixed up. So when someone is envious of what you have, it could be a new job, it could be a new car, it could be a new home, it could be how you walk, how you talk, how you smile. And some of these people knew what it took for you to get there, to get in that position. Some of them do not. So that's when they start spreading lies and gossip about how it's possible for you to have these blessings. Why is it them and not me? I want what he or she has and I don't have, so I don't want them to have. What makes them so special? What makes them better than me? Oh, they think they're better than me. Yada, yada, yickety, yackety. And some of the worst ones are the ones who have seen you struggle have seen you get it out the mud, have seen you work your way to the top and get what you have and still got the audacity and gall to be envious. Jealousy is when an mf -er pretty much hates your guts because you may be getting all the attention because their relationship has failed and yours is still growing and thriving. Heck, maybe... Uh, the person they're with is now with you because they no longer want to be with them. Now they blowing up his or her phone, leaving all kind of effed up messages, doing drive-bys by the house or their job, just straight stalking a person. And I'm not going to lie, before I started my healing process, before I started really looking deep within, before I started working on my shadow side, my shit, I used to do the same thing. Because I was never shown what real love was, what real trust was. I was never shown a healthy relationship. I was shown chaotic dysfunction and abuse. My parents didn't love me. My dad left and I hadn't seen that man until my son was born and I hadn't seen him for five years before that and 16 years thereafter. And I gave him grace and mercy and forgiveness when I went down to go save his ass after he had stroked out for the second time, maybe third. Now you tell me what you think if that man hadn't gone through that health problem, mm -hmm. would we even have seen each other. No, he wouldn't have given two farts and a piss, period. My mother, if you could even call her that, was so jealous of me, especially my youth, my beauty, and the talents that I was naturally given by the most high. And when she really lost her mind, okay, if it wasn't gone before, which obviously I believe it was, heck, was when her husband started giving me attention at a young age that was inappropriate. I was six and seven years old when this first started happening. She blamed me for coming on to him. She called me fast. She called me a liar. She called me everything in her book but a child of God. Okay? She tried to find every excuse and reason that there was for it to be my fault and not his. And to add insult to injury, violently chastised me through physical beatings. And so did he. Jealousy is not a joke. It is very real. And people go to lengths to purposely hurt you due to that wicked spirit within their hearts, within their minds, within their souls. I took a bad turn, several of them, <laughs> several of them in my lifetime. I've had exes who tried to uh, take what I've earned, like my house, tell me how jealous they were of me out their own mouth. I had 
made a mistake, and I remember sharing this before, telling uh, them what I made, okay? And having my own grandmother say to me, well, I've never made more than $40,000 in my life. Buying my first house at 22, having my own mother tell me I didn't have a house at 22, so you don't need one. I went to jail for four months for doing something stupid, finding out my son's father was cheating on me. Violently handled that situation, yet I gave my mother the power of attorney and gave her $7,000 to pay the mortgage on my house. Not her money, my money. Do you think she paid that? No, she let that bad boy go into foreclosure and I had to start all over again. Now, true indeed, it was my fault. I went in the first place in the decisions that I made. I take full responsibility for that, for my actions. But y'all, this is what jealousy and envy will do. When my grandmother passed away, she went to my cousin's house and started a fight with her and her husband in their house because she just lost whatever the hell she lost because what goes around comes around and she lost her house. Years after taking mine from me and my grandmother left my cousin and her husband a house that they all used to share and she felt like it should be hers. Now my cousin doesn't even want anything to do with me simply by association. And I must say, I don't blame her. Jealousy and envy will make your husband or your wife try to sabotage your opportunities. Let that man or that woman find out that you got to raise a promotion or just simply make more money than them. And they feel like they're entitled to it. As, and, and not the, the audacity of not even being your husband or your wife. Watch how hard they try to sabotage you in your personal and professional life. Even go as far as to steal the money out of your bank account, out of your purse, out of your wallet. Envy and jealousy. Then, unless they got caught, watch how hard they try to lie and deny you. And in getting caught, watch the audacity of the non-remorse that they have out of spite, out of envy, out of jealousy. I got a new car and the man that I was with at the time thought that he could take my keys and drive my car anytime he wanted to simply because we were together having his own. And when I said no because of the way he took he took care of his car, what did he do? He used to hide my keys so I couldn't find them and drive myself to work or go anywhere else. He used to take my keys and leave my sunroof open so that the birds can shit in my car, the squirrels can climb in there, and so when the rain poured down, the inside of my interior would get soaked and wet and have mold and mildew. Yes, he did. He even left my car doors wide open so that someone could probably come and steal it, or like I said, so the birds, the bees, the squirrels would get in there. Envy and jealousy. And Lord, once it turns to hate, it is just a whole nother beast. It already was one in the first place. So if you are in a relationship like that, if you are living in a household like that, if you got family members like that, if you got jealous coworkers like that, even if it takes some time, find your way out. Cause baby, it doesn't get better, it gets worse. And they look for reasons to get close to you again, to gaslight you so they can sabotage you all over again. Don't let them back in. Ain't no more chances. Let them people go. Because envy and jealousy is dangerous. Well, it's your girl. Stay tuned for more.